Cost something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally see money now. Woohoo! It's cold outside, people. This morning when I was training uh, my clients at 4.30 a.m., it was zero degrees. So if you follow me on uh, Instagram or Snapchat, you would have seen that. So, what's up everybody? Kevin Van Voris here for another video for you today. So what we need to do is we're gonna go get some pricing to get the uh, Jeep Trackhawk expelled. Um, you guys probably don't know because this was a long time ago, but for my OG subscribers, they know that I, uh, before I wrapped my charger, I actually had the whole front clip, um, which front clip is hood, bumper, fenders, and headlights uh, expelled. Best decision I ever had. Drove to Arizona. It was nice. No rock chips. And then everything just sprays right off. It's great. So um, I am getting the whole car um fully detailed and then ceramic coated on top but what we are going to do first is Coley's going to buff the front end which we'll go to his shop later today and um but first what we're going to do today or now is we're going to go to there's two places uh in Emerald that do expel you have to be certified I believe you have to have a plotter which means you have to be able to cut it not sure completely on that expel is not cheap <laughs> so but on a black car i mean on any car that is fairly expensive like the hellcat seventy thousand dollars the trackhawk that's a hundred thousand dollar car it's black i definitely want to save the paint i don't want any rock chips getting on that thing so we're gonna go to two places today that's gonna be the plan and then we'll do a little vlogging throughout the day so of course got the bang energy drink on point i really need to get sponsored by them that would be one company that i would legit get sponsored by it'd be sick but uh, i need to run to the bank and got some other errands to do but let's go uh to the first expel place and see what it's going to cost okay sam bar shop oh uh, yeah i was trying to get a quote on you guys doing some expel yes uh but you guys did my charger hellcat probably like a year ago uh, so I, I bought a Jeep Grand Cherokee and I was trying to get uh, the whole front clip um, done on the car. So like the hood, the fenders, the bumper, A pillars, and then like maybe a six inch section on the roof where it curves. Okay. So you, like full fenders, full hood? Yeah, the full, yeah. Okay. Uh, full fenders, full hood, full bumper, A pillars, roof kit. Okay, how long would you need the car for? Um, since it's full panels and, and, and the weather's been cold, um, I'd probably say about three days just to let it sit one day, you know, make sure every edge is good and stuff. Okay, can we schedule that? Yes, what color is it? It's black. Okay, okay. Um, let me see what I got. I know I'm finishing one up right now. I got one coming in tomorrow. Um, wrong caliber. I can squeeze it in on January the 9th, would be the soonest. Is that Monday or Tuesday? It, it'll be a Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, I can, I'll drop it off Tuesday then. That works. Okay. And just to be safe, because I got I got a bikini kit and stuff coming in on the eighth on a Raptor. Okay. And um, the guy hasn't decided on ceramic coating on that as well, so I'm, I'm on that one yet. So I mean, I can put the ceramic on the other room. So but yeah, we can do it on the on the ninth. That'll be the soonest. Okay. Yeah, let's just schedule that, uh, and I'll I'll bring it. But what time do you guys open, and then I can just bring it by Tuesday At 8 morning. A.M.? Okay, I'll bring it. Um, what year did you say it was? Twenty. It's brand new. It's a 2018. Okay, 2018 Cherokee, right? Yeah. And is it like uh, SRT8 or something? It's the Trackhawk. Okay, okay. So I can pull that up on the system. Sounds good. I okay. got you down. Cool. I appreciate it, man. Uh, I'll, I'll see you Tuesday. Uh, no problem. Cool. Thank you. you. Yep. Bye. Uh, 
All right, guys, so um, I got two quotes. Right now, I'm sitting in front of Auto Trim Design, which they're in Amarillo. I, I really, I've heard so-so things about this place, but they're the only other Expel place in Amarillo. Uh, my buddy Skyler was gonna do it, but I guess he didn't wanna get, doesn't, didn't want, I don't know if he didn't wanna get certified. Something happened with getting certified. I don't know, I think it's a huge process. So I'm Auto Trim Design. Uh, they're kind of annoying, but um, they don't do the full hood, which this guy does. This guy will do the whole thing. He'll do the whole car if you really wanted to. Um, so they only do 18 to 22 inches of the hood, which it's pointless. It needs to do the whole hood, so I told her, don't even do that. The front fenders, she quoted me 70, but that's not for the full fender. They'd have to look at it. Bumper, uh, which is 395 for the whole front bumper. Pillars are about 80 bucks, and the six inches on the roof is 150. So she quoted me 695 uh, without even doing the hood. And then it's just kind of annoying. Like she's like, "Well, we don't, you know, we'll have to order more film." And I'm like, "Well, do you not want my business or what?" It doesn't. People who own businesses or work, I don't know, maybe she doesn't own it, maybe she just works for it, but it just doesn't make any sense. So she just lost business because if I want something done, you know, I'm trying to get it done. Are you crossing, dude? Jesus fucking Christ. I swear to God. Um, you know, now she just lost my business and I probably will never come back here because she just, I don't know. Anyways, it's called E. Uh, it's I think it's called Amarillo Protective Film or something like that. They're the ones who actually did my charger. Did a great job on it. So um, <clears throat> quoted me eighteen hundred, which that that's about right. Um, on the Demon, I'm almost almost tempted to expel the whole entire car, um, and that you're gonna look about four thousand bucks to expel the whole car. I'm tempted to do it um, just because it's an investment, really. I mean, I mean that's, that's what it is. And I really don't want anything to happen to that paint. So, especially with the track hawk, I know, you know, $1,800, it's, that's a lot of money. Like, <laughs> I'm not exactly balling, um, but that's a lot of money. So, but it's one of those things that you pay up front, then you don't have to worry about it. It was so nice to be, to have no stress when I was driving my Charger to Arizona. Again, this is before I wrapped it. And not have to worry about fucking rock chips or something fucking up the paint. Because that Go Mango color is beautiful. So, um, we're going to head to the shop. Coley shop, which is Ride Remodel. And then, uh, I'm going to show you guys the track hawk. Give you just a little tour real quick. I don't want to leave you the whole video with me just talking and not giving you some of the track hawk. So we'll go over there real quick, and then uh, I don't really know what the rest of the day is going to come and hold. I got some errands to run, which I don't know if you guys really want to come along for the ride or not. Um, but anyways, so actually, you know, while I'm driving, let's do a little a little talk So um, about resolutions. A lot of people, you know, make resolutions on January 1st, which is yesterday, and they start them today, which is January 2nd. So um, real quick, I just want to give my opinion on that. If you're one of those people, that's perfectly fine. But if you want help on setting goals and stuff like that, write everything down. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video just like I did last year about setting goals, making a vision board, because I'm gonna show you guys what happened on that vision board. And it's pretty crazy what happened over the full year. So just write it down, make a vision board, have realistic goals. Don't be like, I want a million dollars. I wanna bang 10 hot chicks. I want to drive a Ferrari or something like that. Set realistic goals and uh, don't worry about what other people say. You know, try and keep the goals to yourself. Don't be one of those people who post stuff on Facebook to be accountable. Don't do that. Do your own accountability because at the end of the day, you're going to be the one who is going to be held accountable. So, to yourself. No one else is gonna come wake you up out of bed and say, hey, you need to get to work, or hey, you need to go to the gym, or hey, you gotta do this, or whatever. No one's gonna hold your hand. And if you have somebody holding your hand, well, good for you. So, that was my little spiel. I'll do a separate video on goals and making a vision board and all that stuff, and telling you guys how I accomplish goals and 
move on to the next thing. So we're gonna head to Coley's shop and go see the Trackhawk. All right, so we're at Ride Remodel. Let me just show you guys. It got dropped off yesterday. So Coley's gonna work on it. That'll be a separate video, but I'm just gonna show you guys, take you around so you can see it. Here's the engine. This is a Kia Rio. Looks like one. <laughs> Chevy Cobalt, baby. So, all black. They're not even red. They're like maroon seats or maroon seat belts. So there you guys go. So that's how much Expel costs for the Trackhawk. We're gonna get it done next week. Scheduled appointment for Tuesday. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't follow David. Fuck you, David. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at Kelly Boy Kev. My name is Kevin Van Voris. Expel is not fucking cheap. And I'm out this bitch.